Hey everyone, this game's called Save the Statues. It's a new throwing and catching game that I recently came up with for grades 3 to 8. You'll need hula hoops and foam balls. So in this game you'll use the basketball or volleyball court lines as well as the center circle lines and you're going to place down some hula hoops outside of the court lines so you can have anywhere from 4 to 10 hula hoops depending on the amount of players you have and you'll start by putting players in each of those hula hoops and those will be the statues and they're going to be stuck there and hopefully not for too long because they're going to be on the same team as uh, a player or two in the middle to start and they'll have all the dodgeballs in the middle circle there and uh, basically what they're going to do is the players in the middle are going to try and throw the ball to the statues and if the statues can catch a ball then they get to join the throwers in the middle so it's not going to be that easy though because in the middle area as you see there is going to be another team of the defenders who will be able to move anywhere around that area not in the middle circle of course and not outside of that uh, the court lines um, to try and block the statues from catching balls so they can try and stop the throws from being completed and so basically we'll see in an example here a throw has been made and it's been caught by a statue so that statue gets to join the throwers in the middle and that statue now becomes a thrower and you can play until all the statues have made a catch and got to the middle or you can play for you know a few minutes have three minutes and then switch or it's up to you however you'd like to run that um, basically, if someone makes a throw and it's blocked and the ball goes off somewhere, anywhere on the, in the playing area, um, and you'll see that happens, of course, all the time, players can leave the middle circle to go retrieve a ball, but they just have to bring it back to the middle before they can throw it to somebody else. So they're constantly leaving that middle circle, but uh, they have to go back to the middle. And sometimes you'll have, uh, they might strategize and have just one player who's the retriever who goes around throwing all the, ba the balls back to the middle. Um, that's up to the, the players. The statues though, they can't go moving and, and grabbing balls and throwing them back. Uh, I suppose if it rolls to the statue, they can roll it or throw it back. But uh, yeah, that's essentially the way the game works. We see uh, another player has caught it, so then they can they can join the, the group in the middle. And you go for your time, switch roles, so the defenders come offense and switch or whatever. And that's it for this idea.